one of today's most prominent and advanced physicists has expressed his opinion on the matter. Makaku, recognized for his outstanding contribution to the fields of physics, has recently confirmed that the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered six massive galaxies that scientists thought could not exist. These investigations have the potential to open up new dimensions in our scientific understanding of the universe. The discovery is both exciting and revolutionary, challenging existing theories about the formation and development of galaxies. It is therefore worth keeping an eye on these developments. The confirmation by such a distinguished scientist as Miyokaku underscores the importance of these findings. Miyokaku is an outstanding figure in the scientific field, a physicist of American and Japanese heritage. He is considered an expert in both classical experimental physics and quantum mechanics. Unlike some more conservative and skeptical scientists, Kaku does not belong to that group and has been receptive to the amazing results of the James Webb Space Telescope mission. His willingness to embrace new discoveries and share them with the public highlights his commitment to advancing our understanding of the universe. We are delighted that this distinguished scientist has decided to break his silence and publicly share what can no longer be denied. The enthusiasm and almost amused tone of the renowned stellar physicist is evident in his comments on the discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope. Expressing that this has been a highlight that has piqued his interest, join us to discover the implications of Miyokaku's discovery of these six massive galaxies. Makaku is a scientist who has always been willing to consider new theories. Throughout his life, he has demonstrated an openness to ideas that challenge the status quo understanding that Einstein's equations of relativity and Newton's laws, while foundational, are insufficient to capture the full complexity of the universe. Kaku understands that the discoveries of the new telescope have the potential to enrich the scientific field. Although many of his colleagues have not been able to adopt this view, it is generating concern and insomnia among the Big Bang proponents and opponents of quantum mechanics. However, this only provokes laughter from Makaku. The JWST has revealed the discovery of six massive galaxies dating back to the earliest times of the universe. Each of these galaxies contains more stars than our own Milky Way. Despite having formed only 200 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, the team of astronomers who made the discovery have dubbed these exceptional galaxies universe breakers because if confirmed, they would revolutionize our entire understanding of the universe. The implications of these findings are profound, suggesting that the universe's early years were far more dynamic and complex than previously thought. Something doesn't fit here anymore. The Big Bang Theory tells us that the cosmos was a hot mess after the initial event. The first solid objects took hundreds of thousands of years to form, and it took hundreds of millions of additional years for the objects to reach sufficient density and produce light. The formation of complex structures such as galaxies was assumed to occur much later. Some of the newly discovered galaxies exceed the Milky Way in size, and their immense luminosity indicates that they were probably forming hundreds of new stars each year, whereas our galaxy forms stars only sporadically. It remains uncertain exactly when the first galaxy formed. Researchers have not been able to determine this. So far, the only thing that is clear is that initially, there may have only been single stars or groups of stars which eventually joined together to form larger and larger accretions until dwarf galaxies developed. The small galaxies encountered other galaxies and gradually grew. According to previous theories, highly organized and massive galaxies could not have existed at that time, which raises the question of whether the universe is much older than previously believed or whether complex galactic arrangements developed much earlier. This circumstance is difficult to accept for conservative science, which still finds problems with this model, and some branches of physics heavily refuse to accept this discovery and question possible errors in the age calculations. Makaku is aware of this and had this to say, There are many examples of old and false theories that stubbornly persist because of the prestige of some scientists. Many of these theories were only discredited when a crucial experiment revealed their falsity. Therefore, the fundamental work in any science, especially in physics, rests within the experimentalists who keep the theorists honest. In fact, on Earth, we know very little about the true beginnings of the cosmos. This quote from Kaku emphasizes the importance of continuous experimentation and validation in the scientific process. The Big Bang Theory was established in 1927 based on observations of the expansion of the universe. 
These data led to the conclusion that the cosmos originated from a single point and has been expanding ever since. At the time, it was difficult for people and scientists to conceive of a universe with a beginning and an end. The idea of a universe that had always existed and was infinite in time and space was beyond people's imagination. And even today, scientists still face difficulties in understanding it. However, it is important to consider these probabilities. Once again, these new demonstrations do not fit at all with what researchers have based for decades on the Big Bang Theory. However, science has shown time and time again that reevaluation and openness to new ideas are an integral part of the scientific process, as is the confirmation of certain theories and observations. When Einstein was a child, it was believed that the stars and planets were firmly fixed in the universe, and these particular structures occupied a defined space. However, we now know that everything in the cosmos is in motion. Planets orbit stars. Stars move within their galaxies at hundreds of kilometers per second, and entire galaxies move rapidly through the cosmos, the fate of which we cannot yet even predict. This dynamic understanding of the universe challenges long-held beliefs and underscores the need for ongoing inquiry and adaptation in scientific thought. Today, scientists are challenged to accept uncomfortable truths and to understand that theories are not absolute truths until they are rigorously tested or confirmed by accurate observation. The idea of the Big Bang arose from the realization that galaxies are moving away from each other, and this distance is proportional to their distance from Earth. This observation, known as Hubble's Law, suggested that the universe was expanding. For a long time, Elements such as cosmic background radiation and the redshift of light from distant galaxies and other cosmological structures seem to support this theory. However, it is important to remember that in the past, people who believed that the Earth was flat and that the Sun revolved around us also had physical evidence for their assumptions until coincidences or technological improvements came along that provided a clearer and more accurate picture. Right now, we are witnessing a similar situation. Scientists expected the new James Webb Space Telescope to confirm the assumptions related to the Big Bang, but instead, they have come across these six galaxies that seemed impossible. This reminds us that science is constantly evolving and that scientists must be open to new discoveries and rethink existing theories based on the available evidence. The unexpected findings challenged the current understanding and prompt a reassessment of long-standing cosmological theories. Researchers use redshift as a tool to determine certain quantities in the study of the cosmos. Redshift, also known as the Doppler effect, refers to the change in the color of light as the light sources and the observer move relative to each other. To understand this, you can imagine standing still and seeing a car coming towards you. As the car moves towards you, you hear the sound of the engine getting louder. However, once the car passes you or moves away from you, the sound of the engine changes. This is because the sound of the engine varies as the car moves. The same is true of light. When a light source, such as a distant star, moves towards us, the light we perceive shifts towards bluer hues. On the other hand, when the light source moves away from us, the light shifts towards redder hues. This phenomenon is called redshift. Physicists have converted redshift values into velocities and distances for measurement in the study of the cosmos. However, it is important to note that small errors in these measurements could have significant effects. The measurement techniques previously used are currently under review, and it is interesting to see what results scientists will arrive at. As for the latest demonstrations related to our cosmos, it is necessary to consider whether they are really based on redshift errors or whether some scientists are simply denying the facts. This is a question that requires rigorous analysis and careful review of the data and methodologies used in the research. The current scrutiny and reevaluation of measurement techniques highlight the evolving nature of scientific inquiry. Thank you very much for watching the video. As always, we remind you that you can post your doubts in the comments box. If you like the video, do not forget to hit the like button, share it so it reaches more people, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more content like this. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one. This call to action encourages viewers to engage with the content, fostering a community of curious minds eager to explore and understand the latest scientific discoveries. The study of our universe, with its vast expanses and intricate celestial bodies, continues to captivate and challenge scientists across the globe. From the early theories of the cosmos to the latest discoveries, 
made possible by cutting-edge technology. Each revelation reshapes our understanding of the cosmos and pushes the boundaries of human knowledge. One of the most profound and enduring questions in cosmology revolves around the origin and evolution of galaxies. Galaxies are cosmic cities of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter bound together by gravity. Understanding how galaxies form and evolve is crucial not only for unraveling the mysteries of our universe but also for confirming or challenging existing theories, such as the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory, proposed nearly a century ago, posits that the universe originated from a singular, infinitely dense point and has been expanding ever since. This concept emerged from observations of the universe's expansion and the cosmic microwave background radiation considered the remnants of the early universe's intense heat and light. However, recent discoveries, particularly those made by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have challenged some fundamental assumptions underlying the Big Bang Theory. The JWST, with its unprecedented sensitivity and resolution, has detected galaxies that defy conventional understanding. These galaxies, dating back to within a few hundred million years of the Big Bang, are unexpectedly massive and luminous, suggesting a more dynamic early universe than previously envisioned. The implications of these findings are profound. They raise questions about the timeline and mechanisms of galaxy formation, forcing scientists to reconsider existing models. For instance, the discovery of galaxies that are already so evolved shortly after the Big Bang challenges the notion that galaxy formation was a slow and gradual process occurring over billions of years. Moreover, the JWST observations have highlighted the complexity of galactic evolution. It is now evident that galaxies can grow rapidly and host significant star formation activities early in their histories. These insights compel astrophysicists to revise their theories on how stars, gas, and dark matter interacted in the infancy of the cosmos to form the first galaxies. Beyond revolutionizing our understanding of galaxies, these discoveries underscore the critical role of technological advancements in pushing the frontiers of astrophysical research. The JWST, with its infrared capabilities, allows scientists to peer deeper into space and further back in time than ever before. By studying the light emitted by distant galaxies, astronomers can reconstruct their histories and uncover clues about the conditions that prevailed during the universe's formative years. The concept of redshift, a key tool in cosmological research, plays a pivotal role in these investigations. Redshift refers to the phenomenon where light from distant celestial objects shifts toward longer wavelengths as they move away from us. This effect, known as cosmological redshift, provides valuable information about an object's distance and velocity relative to Earth. Through meticulous analysis of redshift data, scientists can infer the size, age and evolutionary stage of galaxies observed by telescopes like the JWST. However, interpreting redshift measurements requires precise calibration and understanding of potential sources of error, such as gravitational lensing and instrumental limitations. In addition to studying individual galaxies, astronomers are also exploring larger cosmic structures, such as galaxy clusters and superclusters. These vast assemblies of galaxies are bound together by gravity and offer insights into the distribution of matter on cosmic scales. By mapping the spatial arrangement of galaxies and measuring their velocities, researchers can trace the cosmic web, a filamentous structure that spans across the universe and defines the large-scale architecture of galaxy clusters. The cosmic microwave background, CMB, radiation represents another invaluable source of information for cosmologists. Discovered accidentally in 1964, the CMB is the faint glow of radiation left over from the Big Bang itself. As the universe expanded and cooled, the intense heat of the early universe cooled to a few degrees above absolute zero, leaving behind this pervasive background radiation. Detailed measurements of the CMB's temperature fluctuations provide a snapshot of the universe's infancy, revealing primordial density variations that eventually gave rise to the galaxies and cosmic structures observed today. Satellite missions like the Planck Observatory have mapped the CMB with unprecedented precision, confirming key predictions of the Big Bang Theory while also uncovering anomalies that challenge current cosmological paradigms. One such anomaly is the presence of cold spots and unusually large voids in the CMB maps, suggesting unexpected patterns in the early universe's density distribution. 
These anomalies have sparked debates among cosmologists, prompting alternative theories such as inflationary cosmology, a concept proposing that the universe underwent a brief period of exponential expansion in its earliest moments. The quest to understand the origin of cosmic structures extends beyond traditional astrophysical methods. Particle physics, particularly experiments conducted at high-energy colliders like the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, seeks to replicate the extreme conditions of the early universe to probe fundamental particles and forces. Theoretical frameworks such as quantum gravity and string theory offer speculative avenues for integrating gravity with quantum mechanics, the two pillars of modern physics. These ambitious theories aim to unify our understanding of the universe at its most fundamental levels, potentially reconciling the contradictions between Einstein's general relativity and quantum field theory. Moreover, the search for dark matter and dark energy continues to intrigue cosmologists. Dark matter, hypothesized to constitute about 27% of the universe's total mass energy content, exerts gravitational influence on galaxies and other cosmic structures despite emitting no detectable electromagnetic radiation. Its elusive nature has spurred numerous observational and theoretical efforts to identify its constituent particles and understand its role in galactic dynamics. Similarly, dark energy, comprising approximately 68% of the universe's energy density, drives the accelerated expansion of the universe observed in recent decades. Its origin and properties remain enigmatic, posing profound questions about the ultimate fate of the cosmos and the nature of fundamental forces governing cosmic evolution. The pursuit of these fundamental questions requires interdisciplinary collaboration and the convergence of observational, theoretical, and experimental approaches. Astronomers, astrophysicists, cosmologists, and particle physicists work together to decipher the cosmic code written in the light and structure of the universe. In conclusion, our exploration of the universe is a journey of discovery and reevaluation, a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity.